everyone. Did I tell you about the time when I got lost here in Victoria? I guess not yet. Getting lost in your hometown, it is not a problem. But getting lost in a foreign country without speaking the language, it is terrible. That's what happened to me. I was just moved here to Canada. A friend of my ex-husband came to pick me up from my place to go to Victoria Immigrant to get some help from them. When I finished, they gave me a phone because at that time I didn't have a cell phone. I called my husband. I said, can you please come to pick me up? He said, no, you're going to figure out your way. I was shocked. I didn't know how to get back to my, to my home. So the people who were working there, they gave, me a f they, they gave me the bus number. I took the bus number. You know what I did? When I saw people starting, when I saw people getting out from the bus, I got out. And I stood up. I didn't know which way should I take. Should I take right? Should I take left? Should I go north or south? I stood up for a while, and then I decided to keep walking. I was afraid to ask people because I didn't know any word in English. I was walking, walking for a while, and then I decided to ask someone. I found a man, and I went to him and said, excuse me, I lose. He said, what? I said, I lose. He said, sorry, I didn't understand you. I said, yeah, yeah, Mukha House. He said, oh, you're lost and you want to go to Mukha House? I said, yes. He said, which Mukha House? I was confused. I, I didn't even uh, know my, my address name, my, my, street, my street name. I was thinking, thinking, thinking. Suddenly, I remembered the name. I said, Cook. He tried to give, him, to give me the direction, but I didn't understand him. I just followed his hands. I was following his hands. You know what happened next? I got lost again. I stood up. I was crying, crying, crying. Most of people were looking at me because I was wearing my, my traditional clothes and I was crying. I was afraid. Then I saw a beautiful woman. I, th I thought, okay, I'm, I'm going to ask her. I asked her. Fortunately, she was going to the same place that I was looking for. She took me with her. While we were walking, she tried to make small talk with me. I didn't understand her. I was asking myself, what is she talking about? At that time, I make a point, I made a point to learn English to improve myself. So when we arrived, I just say bye to her. I didn't know any more words to say. So my apartment was a few a few blocks near to Muka House. When we arrived, you know what my ex-husband said? Here you go, you're here. I said I was very upset and mad at him. I said, yes, I don't, I don't need your help anymore. And then I learned how to survive. And also, I learned how to not be shy to ask, even though you don't understand, you don't know the, the language. So this is my story. Thank you. <laughs>